So squished between the Golden Globes and the Oscars, once again we've got the Sundance Film Festival. Now, of course, it's not the same hotbed of discovery it once was, largely because as soon as big Hollywood talent agencies realized it was a great way to launch careers, they began to manufacture such discoveries. So keep in mind that many Sundance entries these days are packaged by big talent agencies and are most likely already on the radar of the specialty labels at the big studios. They're just waiting to see which films can garner the most media heat. But that still doesn't mean there isn't some fun to be had. While the talent might not be new, Sundance has become a prime spot for watching established talent redefine themselves. With that in mind, here's a quick rundown of what should be making headlines later this month. The biggest headline will surely be generated by Kill Your Darlings, where Daniel Radcliffe stars as real-life poet Alan Ginsberg. Not only is the film based on a real-life murder that took place within the inner circle of the Beat Generation, also involving Jack Kerouac and William S. Burroughs, but Ginsburg was infamous in 1950s America for being openly and defiantly gay. It's another bold move for Radcliffe as he seeks to distance himself from the Harry Potter franchise. And co-stars like Michael C. Hall, Ben Foster, Jack Houston, and Elizabeth Olsen give such a move artistic credibility. And speaking of great writers, for the first time ever, David Sedaris's work is being adapted for the silver screen with COG. If you've ever read Sedaris' work, you know why this is so exciting. If not, go read some. Jonathan Groff of Glee Mini fame stars, but 2013 could be his year with this flick and voicing the male lead in Disney's Frozen. Then ripped from very real headlines, sadly as current today as they were in 2002, Blue Caprice draws on the Beltway sniper attacks, where John Allen Muhammad took Lee Boyd Malvo under his wing and they both became killers. Isaiah Washington, Joey Lauren Adams, and Tim Blake Nelson star. And a documentary that should garner some interest is Pussy Riot, which details how the Russian punk group's performance art in a Moscow cathedral landed three of its members in jail. Then there's the same old, same old, where indie talent that's stuck in the purgatory of being discovered yet unable to find a large audience takes another shot at finding said audience. Real-life couple Nick Offerman and Megan Mullally have supporting roles in the Moonrise Kingdom-esque Toys House along with Allison Brie. And another real-life couple, Ron Livingston and Rosemary DeWitt, co-star in Touchy Feely about a massage therapist who suddenly can't stand touching people. Allison Janey, Ellen Page, and legitimate recent discovery Scoot McNary also star. Plus, Rooney Mara, still searching for a viable follow-up project to legitimize her dragon tattoo street cred, stars opposite Casey Affleck and Ben Foster in Ain't Them Body Saints. So those are my top picks for the 2013 Sundance Film Festival. Think I've missed anything? Do any of these movies pique your interest? Or are you totally over Sundance? Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.